Yes. All right, guys, we're going live here with week five of Emerald Spire. I am, of course, GM Arthur Perkins, and uh, I'm doing great this week. It's been very crazy here. Lots of playing of Destiny. Let's check in with everyone else. Anosh, I know we missed you last week. How are you doing? How is Thrain after his traumatic experience? Well, Thrain wasn't sure what was what, so he just kind of rested out a little bit last week. He let everyone take on things, and uh, he's back now. He's ready to shoot things, battle cat. He's back better than ever. Excellent. Who's re really happy that Thrain's alive, and happy to see Rubus. Arubis. I'm happy you're alive too. <laughs> All right, All right Grandma. Yeah. What's new with you and Judge? So Judge uh, had a lot of things happen to him. He went down to a uh, to the sanctum of the sages where he was briefly mythic for a while. Actually, it was kind of weird, uh, but he keeps that to himself. Uh, basically, level four. So I got my first spell. My lay on hands increased. Um, a lot of things changed. My charisma increased. Major power all around. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's a little by the list. Eric, how about you and Betzel all still feeling all shadowy and partially invisible? Pretty much, yeah. Uh, not much changed for Betzel. Um, didn't level up, didn't have quite enough gold to uh, get what he was saving for, so he's kind of old and steady and uh, as for me went and tested out a couple new characters ran with uh, Judge so on the whole everything's going well alright cool Kai what's happening with you and Aster well I'm getting two kittens soon and then uh, Aster went through the veterans vault which was not that interesting I'll agree with that. I did not find it to be overly involved. It did involve a major character, however, who will reappear. And the GM wasn't all that good. Hopefully that GM did not hear that. Steven, how are you and Arubis doing? Wonderful. I uh, chose not to play a game this uh, this week. So I looked at uh, leveling up um, all the way through and uh, taking it halfway when we had planned to anyway. So I think it's going to work out. <laughs> at least I hope so. Yes, assuming that everyone lives every time. That is going to yes. be That is true. We will. <laughs> Judge will maintain that his <laughs> that all party members uh, are at peak physical condition for every level of the Emerald Spire. You see snacks in the background eating pie. Ah, you need to stop eating. That's bad for you. How? What? It's bad. You're gonna get. Oh, you're fat. Never mind. Proceed. <laughs> <laughs> What's all your right, current Dom. level next right now? Dom, how are you and snacks doing? Mm, me in real life, I learned a very valuable lesson. Man is not meant to eat pizza seven days of the week. Yes, Tom. That is true. But I leveled up snacks on the actual sheet that I had to level four, and then the guys, they mocked me and told me I don't get that sheet till three weeks from now, so he's still level three. Wait, I'm confused. What happened? No, oh, I, I have a separate sheet right. that I leveled up to level four. Sheet. Got it. But because I didn't change any of my macros in the roll twenty, it's like, eh, that means I could just play off of that. You know, I have to change anything if I survive, which I hope I do. Yes, you will. And I don't like Hell Knights. Revolution. I think that's everybody, right? Did I miss anyone? Excellent. So we will begin as we began last time. In the town of Fort Inevitable, where you are greeted at the guard, and all of you who are non-lawful are given yellow ribbons 
to display your non-lawful tendencies. There are, of course, the usual lists of criminals that are replaced daily to keep the ink fresh. And there is also portraits of particularly notorious criminals and suspected criminals. Aster, given his actions last week, earned himself a nice full-body portrait with a smaller enhanced blow-up of his face. All of the guards maintain eye contact with him at all times. <laughs> Thrain, can I ask what alignment are you? Yeah, I was just double-checking, but I believe Thrain is neutral. Interesting. Uh, so will you be wearing your yellow ribbon? Are we supposed to wear yellow ribbons? Yes. Those people who enter the town and are not lawful are asked to wear yellow ribbons to show that they are non-lawful. You don't have to. I just burn you, mine every week. That's eat. true. You don't have to wear them. Hmm. But I think Train isn't sure what's going on, on here. As, but... as being a suspected criminal. I think Train will wear his for now. Very well. Very well. Aster's name is, of course, added to the weekly roster of suspected criminals. Anyone want to change their ribbon allegiance from last week? I know many of you uh, proudly wore your yellow ribbons. Can I trade I my get, like, ribbon a for a ribbon? Yoshi? No. <laughs> no, to his no. question or mine? You cannot have a Yoshi. Hmm. You can have a nice yellow ribbon. So when you guys are inside the town, of course, you find the usual orderly, lawful town. Everything is very clean, except for the occasional graffiti of a seven-sided uh, silver star with a fox jumping through it. You are once again, after you wander through the town for a bit, approached by a man in a black hooded cloak bumps into Thrain and says, Beware, friend. The Hell Knights are trying to crack down on this place. Are you a member of the Resistance? Will you aid us? No, I don't. What do you guys do when this guy, uh, you know, approaches you? Thrain looks around at the others. Uh, just like, he, of course, does this when Judge is not paying attention, right? Sorry. No, uh, he just approaches you. Approaches Thrain specifically, but... I suppose Judge is around. Sorry, I'll interrupt Train. Train this time. Train just looks around first at the uh, the reaction of the others. Uh, judge what... proceeds to uh, call him out immediately. Again with the conspiracy! Uh, and shows immediate disdain for the fact that he is doing something and will try to apprehend him. The guy says, chill, man, chill. Be cool. <laughs> Chicken wings. Uh, chicken wings. Still gonna try to apprehend him. Notes, I, I will. I will suggest. Perhaps we can speak this. Uh, we can speak amongst each other better in front of a hell of a night guard. All right. So uh, he immediately makes a billowing motion with his cape, throws his hands out, waves his hands. Can everyone make a perception check? Yeah. So bad at this. So Betzalal and Thrain, you both notice that he kind of drops a, like a small tied bag very surreptitiously and explodes at his feet. And it's like a smoke powder. And while the rest of them, it looks like he mystically disappears when the smoke clears. The two of you catch him like running around the corner. He just wanted to make it look like he was a powerful magician. Thrain smiles. Uh, Betzalal is going to follow him. Okay. Again with these tricks. You're going to have to roll survival. You do need to roll survival to track him through the city. Mm. Thrain can do it. Thrain, are you interested in following this fellow? Yeah, why not? Very well. And All right, well, Betzalel will quick motion to Thrain. Quick, he went around that corner. Thrain him a nod. He'll just send for eight to survival. Mm. Oh. oh. That's well, make your check. Hmm? Try and make your that's a, one. That's a 10, sorry, not one, uh, nine. I've just okay. add one. Still not so. good enough to track someone. Yeah. In the city. Use Bowcat. 
The two of you look around and you feel that you've once again been bested by the seven foxes. They've managed God to damn. disappear roguishly in broad daylight in the middle of a city. God dang. Yeah, chaotic conspirators. Yeah. Blast them. There's no re there's we have perfectly good laws here. There's no reason to go through such extents. Yeah. Interesting. Why do people do the thing they do? So judge, while you're saying that, an old man approaches you with his cane and a beggar's bowl and says, Please, sir, aren't you a paladin? I'm paladin of Abadar. We, we are just poor folk trying to survive out here. Ever since the Hell Knights unlawfully requisitioned our town for their crusade against <laughs> banditry, we have been oppressed oh. by them. Can that you not opinion. free us by throwing the yoke of their evil depression and their Asmodeus worshipping off of us? Please, sir. You are always willing to submit yourself to servitude. Uh, doing to the proper places, you'll get a decent meal from your new master, and you won't have to worry about being poor on the streets anymore. But why would I want to go into servitude? Because right now Our you're begging. Land. My grandfather lived here. <laughs> the hell not uh, he claimed this place and moved in. The key word was lived. Yeah. It is now he Please, Paladin, Un under have you no mercy for our incredible under suffering? Uh, under current law, it is owned by the, uh, by, by roll of, basically, power that they took it. And, uh, originally, it was Shouldn't for banditry. I, a judge is gonna... Injustice, Paladin. Ju the judge is gonna maintain, uh, the side of law, which at the moment is the Hell Knights. Very well. Until something happens in the future that, uh, Makes it much more apparent than a per than an old man's opinion. This poor baby spits at your feet and says, "I curse yeah. you, Paladin. Yeah. You are among the worms that crawl under the ground. I hope yeah. a pox upon you." And he hits you in the foot with his cane, which just bounces off of your armor. It makes a very Judge loud is... ringing noise. Judge is much more lawful than he is good. He's kind of a little angry now. So the Hell Knights begin approaching this old man. I oh. intercept them. Very well. What are you doing to intercept them? Um, just getting in their way, basically just causing a commotion. Nothing that's like going to get me arrested. Just stopping them. I oh. shall. Enduring is the best place in the world. Chillaxians suck. Um. So I just want to point out canonically, in Hell Knight law it's perfectly legal for them to execute anyone suspected of treason. They don't have to have any proof. They just have to <laughs> suspect it, and they can kill you legally. But I'm not Chalaxian or part of the Empire. Okay. But you are oh. in a Chalaxian town. By negotiations. Strange just going to keep quiet and watch the things, and he's not going to stick his neck out for any of these crazy people. All right, so Aster kind of gets away. It's a little a similar point of view. <laughs> Snacks is like, oh, Andor, freedom, apple pie. <laughs> Doran. Man tries to stagger it's time to away die. quickly. Okay, Judge, you don't do anything to stop this. So the or proceed man, to help it. The old I'm not going to get in the way of the law here. Off. The Hell Knights lose track of him. As, as we've established, it's nearly impossible to track someone in the city without a decent survival. <laughs> and Hell Knights are not known for their ventures into the wilderness unprepared. Around the corner. He just walks around the corner. He's gone. Seriously. So I think we've learned a lot about Judge today. He's one of those lawful paladins rather than one of those good I paladins. I would have, like I said, I, w I would have totally changed to a um, oath of law, but I didn't think about it to begin with, and I can't go back and change it now. Excellent. Without paying that money in PP. Yeah, it's, a, it's not it's right good now, Why would he do that? All right, so I don't know if this particular module is going to take place over one or two sessions. This might be the first long one we face, or you could finish it in like two hours, like the last one. I don't know. It's just that chaotic. All right. So oh, you no, Judge is going to have problems with that. I think Judge is going to have <laughs> problems for a lot of reasons. Mm -hmm. So we are heading to level five.
the drown level. And because once again, it contains nothing but spoilers. I will save reading the intro text until the end, which doesn't make <laughs> much sense, but I would hate to spoil it for you guys. So allow me to gather up your tokens and let's get cracking. Is that spoiler alert? <laughs> Kraken? Well, if you had to face a Kraken here, I'm fairly certain you would die. Yes. Not necessarily. It depends if it's level drained. Yes. Most Krakens come pre-level drained. Yeah, we'd all die. CR1 Pit Fiend. Nine levels of level drain. I mean, 19. 19. It would still be extremely powerful because of its spellcasting abilities, my friend. Cash level one. <laughs> Doesn't matter, it still has access to some pretty powerful stuff. True. I summon a bone devil for one round. Well, I guess an hour, so it's just that type of summoning. Yes. Yes, indeed. Alright, so you guys can place yourselves anywhere in these tiles that I'm about to indicate with the ruler. Anywhere in these tiles. One more down, that's all. Oh. Okay. Also one more down, Aster. Hey, yeah, by the way, I get Esther a high five. For our shenanigans earlier. High five returned. Oh, wow, this is a small room. That was the fast. ramp winding <laughs> that was fat. down. Oh, sorry. You guys got commentary? <laughs> yes, that was fast. The ramp winding down from the level above ends in a flight of stairs, leading to a dank, low ceiling room. The curved surface of the Emerald Spire takes up the northwest corner, and to the east is a broad stairway leading down a dark passage, from which the soft sound of lapping water emanates. A small closed door stands on the south wall. Several toad sized crabs skitter about. An enormous orange, hideous crab monster with a small blue creature on its back are playing together, while a blue skinned humanoid stands staring at the Emerald Spire's crystal, writing things down in a notebook. He turns towards you and adjusts his glasses and says, In Aquin, a number of words. Can anyone speak Aquin? That is not one of my languages. No. Nope. I have linguistics if it matters. I also have a high linguistics. It will not matter. So no one speaks Aquin? Nope. Okay, he spits in the water and says, Very well. I will speak your Taldane, the language of common rabble. I am Jorqual. You must leave this place immediately. I am conducting a scientific experiment here, and I must not be interrupted. Turn around and come back in a year or so. Do you have the proper documentation for that? <laughs> no. I have plenty of documentation. He starts, like, throwing papers about, all of which have numbers and <laughs> figures and bar charts. Uh, perhaps documentation of the rights to be able to use the tower for your experimentation is what I, my friend, my companion was trying to get at. Just making fun of you. But <laughs> Yes, I actually do have such a writ. I have here a writ from Clarklosh, master of the Emerald Spire, mage of Numeria, saying that I have the right to be here to conduct my experiments. I will investigate the writ. And do I know about the... Um, uh, it, that's the self-proclaimed master who owns the spire, right? Yes. Yeah, self-proclaimed. Yes, I, kind of like I the Galaxians it. proclaim themselves the yep, leaders of yep. Lord Inevitable. Oh. Just like, just like that. Difficult being a paladin, you know? <laughs> I'll investigate the writ a little bit. Okay, the writ seems perfectly legitimate. Insofar as it's written by someone who believes that he controls 
is this tower. This tower is in Numeria, was it? Emerald Spire, or was it in... The he is from Numeria, but the Emerald Spire is specifically in the River Kingdoms. Right, it's pretty far south. Well, not that far south, but yeah. I mean, it's... It's far yeah, I mean. closer than, say, Absalom. Yeah, yeah. Borders Numeria, so... The River Kingdoms are specifically called that because no one claims them in particular. That's why there's a king binger for it. Indeed, that in Brevoy and all those other nice countries. <laughs> Malthoon. So he says, I, I suppose you must understand. Turn around now and proceed to allow me to continue with science. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, Baldwin's up at all late science. <laughs> what kind of relationship does the uh, master of the spire have with other people? Well, he is the master. We serve him. Uh, oh, I mean, according to, according to himself of the spire, does he have any kind of trade or uh, notable uh, notable agreements with uh, other societies around nearby that would reinforce his claim? In the My same way that the Hellmites do. was that he was also the controller of the first level of the spire, the entrance, through which he controlled all movement throughout the spire. Unfortunately, mm. some group of ruffians recently murdered all of his paid guards. <laughs> oh yeah. They were not as cordial as you are being right now. That's why I'm. That's why I'm considering well, the situation. Well, you have but a few Keep more moments. So. Praying my patience before I show you exactly how cordial I can be. He gave me a lot of papers. I'm going to brushing some lint off his shoulder, off of his silvery mail. <laughs> Let's see, great god box. No, that's from the last one. Great god. Great god. Great god box. <laughs> <laughs> I went back and watched that Babylon 5 episode with Red Dragon, Blue Dragon. So good. Babylon 5 is shit. <laughs> well, we have decisions, guys. We Choices. hit these guys, or do we hit these guys? Yes. Do we hit the Renegade button, or do we hit the Paragon button? He says, I must know immediately. Will you leave or not? Nope. We stand well, together. Okay. Simple question. How much gold is there? He immediately uh, we orders find. his craft we will need to go through. It. That is slow. And guys, I do need to apologize. The night's level is again going to be kind of slow because there's lots of unique mechanics involved. Words everyone likes to hear. So let's see. One, two, six. Okay, that is everybody. Aster, you managed to get the drop on these fellows. I guess you're just like, yes, we will kill you. Ha ha! I'm always up for killing. I'm going to move. Here in the attempt to hit this giant crab thing. Very well. Or wait, can you move through the its square since it's flat footed? You will still need to make an acrobatics to pass through it. Um I'll just move here then. Very well. And attempt to smash it. Ugh, nope. Well, the crab creature <laughs> intends to return your favor. It immediately pounces on you and begins going crab, 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 crab. It's crab. even saying the word crab over and over again. <laughs> what is your AC? 21 now. Oh my god, it's not only large, it's a Pokemon. Okay, so it, it attempts to batter you a couple times, but uh, with two claws and a bite, it doesn't crack you open. Like a lobster. A rock lobster? Rock lobster, rock lobster. All right.
This creature right here leaps off of the crab's back and begins moving down the hallway extremely quickly. It's sharing the crab's uh, initiative. It is. Snacks. Hmm. I'm guessing there's a wall right here. Yes. Hmm. I would go on delay because if I cast spells, I'd probably be a hit. Wait, yeah, I'm going to do a knowledge check on it. Is that a free action? Sure. Knowledge planes. Hmm. I'm well. sure you can see it. I guess you can see part of it from here. Knowledge Weird. check. Your knowledge check fails. Okay. Then yeah, I will go on delay. Oh, I have. You're Could not I only are you 15 feet away, but this creature is not humanoid, so I don't think it has reach. Could I make a knowledge planes too? Sure. You know what? Someone is informing me this thing is actually supposed to be medium sized. Oh. Oh, that makes more sense. Oh, okay, then I can actually move right here. It almost it kind of doesn't make sense to have something that large. Such a small room. Well, it had something on its back. So. There's a seven touch attack hit. The thing on its back was like tiny. All right, eleven touch attack Thanks. is not going to hit. Okay. Especially not with all the penalties. Of course, Thrain. Thrain is going to battle cat. Sifu time. Battle cat's going to go here. Oh, well, actually, battle cat will just uh. Yeah, well, I just full attack that thing. Okay. Boom. Where's my what? That yeah, area. And yeah, okay. Boom. So let's see. Train. Here. Yeah. None of Battle Cat's attacks hit. Wow. Okay. Train uh, notches a couple of arrows. He quickly, actually, one after the other, lets loose. A few arrows. Adamantine ones. Hit me with your best shot. Mm. Fire away. 18, <laughs> it's not going to connect. Ah. Oh. Nope. Damn it. Got anything else? No seafood tonight. No, that's it. It just uh. kind of like just goes that battle cat attack. He fires a couple of arrows off really quickly. And he's disappointed as Sorry, he bounces accidentally, off the lobster. I accidentally clicked uh, witness when I meant to do judge. That's quite so. alright. I was going to say judge how, anyway. How unlawful is that? Uh oh. oh I'm so sorry. It's all my, I don't lose my powers from that. Not, not the whole band, <laughs> but by declaring witness instead of judge. Damn. <laughs> Unword witness! Go! Uh, witness will properly attack. I'll yeah. go and make my attack against uh, the crab. Very well. Yeah, I'll be holy mess though. Indeed. I don't expect these to hit. Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, those are the hooves. <laughs> yeah, just, just he's, okay. It's not really big. You know, crit fishing is not a bad thing. I love crit fishing. <laughs> the other night, I had to do a crit fish where I needed a twenty, and I had eight different guys rolling like three attacks at once. And they were getting an improbably no number of 20s. Betzalol, what do you have for Mr. Crab here? All right, uh, question. Does it look like I could acrobatics to there? Yes. All right, I will attempt to do so. Very well. Mm, you will succeed. <laughs> barely, barely it should be noted. The crab gets a good swing in on you. But oh, you under it there. Because small size. All right, and I will swing at it with my nodachi. Very well. Right. Uh, so nineteen, and then uh, sneak attack damage. Nope. But nineteen will not connect. A nineteen will not connect. A nineteen will okay. not connect. I will step forward and...